The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18.21. Thanks for tuning in, brothers and sisters. Hello, world. Good morning. Brother Paul, Universal Peace Officer, has got a little encouraging word for myself and my brothers and sisters out there and want to talk about the tongue and the power of our words and the things that we say and how they can lift up and encourage and guide and help and teach and coach ourselves and those around us. Or, unfortunately, they have the ability to discourage and to create animosity and anger by the things that we say. You know, James talks about ships being controlled by a small rudder, horses being controlled by a small bit, and then man having no control over his tongue on his own and how the tongue is just a mouthful of fire and can spew all kinds of evil. We can curse our brothers that we can see, but then we'll try to sit here and tell God we love him who we can't see. So what are you saying to yourself and what are you saying to those around you today? How are you using your tongue and the power of those words? I mean, God spoke creation into existence. So there's so much power in the things that we say, not only on the receiver of what we say, but even us as we say it, it can affect our spirit. So my encouragement for myself today is to make sure that my words are encouraging and uplifting and that I'm trying to help those around me and help myself by speaking life, by speaking love, by speaking truth, by speaking peace versus speaking anger and discord and frustration and despair. And I personally think our thoughts have a lot to do with our words, you know, because what's inside of our heart is going to be what comes out of our mouths. So therefore, for me, it's important that I take time and make time to cultivate a relationship with my creator, a relationship with myself, so then I can be at peace and be in a better position to speak love and to speak light over those that are around me. So be careful of the schemes of the enemy trying to deceive you and discourage you and put you in darkness. We don't want that. We need to stay in the light, stay close to the source, ask him to give us the light and the strength and the peace in our hearts and in our minds so that the words that come out of our mouth are uplifting and encouraging to those that are around us. God, thank you for the truths that you give us. Thank you for all the things that you do and you allow us to be a part of and help us to see all the moments and the miracles along the journey and help our hearts to be right with you and with ourselves so that our words may be uplifting and encouraging and helpful to those that are around us. So I want to speak a blessing over all the world today and just encourage you to know whose you are, know who you are, and then love all those around you and be kind and courteous with the words that you speak to those that you come in contact with because you may be the only glimpse of God they get in that day. You may be the only time they get to hear the Bible that day. You may be the only time they get to have interaction with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. So get centered, get grounded, renew your mind. Don't be conformed to the patterns of the world, but be renewed by the, by the renewing of your mind so that you can transform your heart so that love and light and encouraging words come out. God, thank you so much for giving us the ability to speak. Lord, help us with the words that we say. Help our hearts to marinate and meditate on your love and your light and your truth so that the words we speak are uplifting and encouraging to the brothers and sisters around me. God loves all of us, and he wants us to have joy and peace and compassion and love and harmony with one another. We play a part in that process. So make sure, guys, you take time, get centered, get grounded, take care of your mind, body, and spirit so that you can better love God, love yourselves, and then be in a better position to love others. So my prayer goes out to you and all the world today, our peace officer's prayer. God, fill me with peace, love, and compassion. God, fill my family and friends and my dogs with peace, love, and compassion. God, fill all the earth and all of humanity with peace, love, and compassion. Early happy Independence Day. God bless the world. God bless America. Peace officers, out.